Our top story this evening. The defense chiefs of South Korea and Japan have discussed the impending termination of their military intel sharing pact on Sunday afternoon. But with South Korea and Japan both refusing to budge, the Jusomia deal appears, to meet, appears likely to meet its end when it expires in less than a week. Our Kim Jae has the details. Defense talks between Seoul and Tokyo ahead of the termination of their military intel sharing pact ended without an agreement on Sunday. Seoul's defense minister Chung kyung do and his Japanese counterpart Taro Kono were unable to narrow their differences regarding the Jisomia deal. The meeting took place in Pankok on the sidelines of the ASEAN Defense Minister's Meeting Plus, which is to be held through Monday. South Korea has been demanding Japan to retract its export curbs in exchange for a possible reconsideration of its decision on Jisomia. But Tokyo wasn't willing to make any concessions to salvage the agreement and held firm in its stance to maintain export restrictions on Seoul. This was the first face-to-face -face meeting between the two defense ministers since South Korea announced its decision to end Jisomia. Regarding Jisomia, Tokyo wanted Seoul to extend the agreement. But Seoul's decision to terminate the deal was inevitable, as Japan cited a breach of trust on national security grounds to remove South Korea from its whitelist and impose export curbs. Seoul's defense ministry said after the briefing that Chung called on Japan to review its stance and resolve the issue through diplomacy. The ministry also added the two sides affirmed the need for steady dialogue in order to promote regional peace in the East Asian region. Kim Jae-hee, Arirang News.